vocal nodules vocal nodules is the commonest cause of hoarseness particularly amongst young adults and in young children vocal nodule is defined as bilateral symmetrical swellings on the vocal cord at the junction of anterior 1/3 and posterior 2/3 the reason why vocal nodules form in this place is because this is the most vibratory portion of the vocal cord and in persons who speak loudly who shout or who need to speak continuously throughout the day there is constant trauma on the vocal cord this trauma leads to some amount of extravasation of blood or a micro hematoma and consolidation of this fluid causes the formation of a nodule vocal nodules are commonly seen in some professions like teachers professors um trainers politicians who need to make lectures or sometimes speak loudly without a mic it is also seen in those who are habitual shouters also seen in children who cry a lot because any strain on the vocal cord can lead to the formation of nodule the symptom of vocal nodule is principally hoarseness of voice which is gradually increasing there is also strain while talking and sometimes when the nodule becomes very large there may be pain while speaking also the diagnosis is made after you visit your ent specialist who will insert a laryngoscope or a special instrument inside your throat take a look at the vocal cord and show you the nodules that are present which is responsible for your symptoms once diagnosed the treatment of vocal nodules is threefold initial very very small and transient nodules may be treated with some anti inflammatory medication if reflux is aggravating it anti reflux medication may be tried the second part of the treatment is speech therapy and counseling so particularly for those untrained voice users who speak loudly or continuously throughout the day we teach them how to modulate their voice and give them speech therapy sessions so that they can talk without getting into trouble they can speak for prolonged periods without having to develop nodules in the final stage when nothing else is working the patient has persistent hoarseness the nodules are hard we would recommend surgical removal by a procedure called microlaryngeal surgery mls or microlaryngeal surgery is performed under general anesthesia a laryngoscope which is rigid is introduced this is fixed to the chest of the patient then the microscope is brought in the vocal nodules are examined in detail and then using microsurgical instruments the nodules are removed following removal of the nodule there will be complete voice rest for about 2 to 3 days followed by vocal cord rehabilitation or speech therapy as would be indicated from case to case vocal nodules are easily diagnosed and easily treated my request to you would be to prevent the formation of vocal nodules particularly by not speaking loudly because the vocal cords get traumatized and also if you are having persistent hoarseness or recurrent hoarseness based on your vocal habits please undergo a speech therapy session undergo counseling from a trained speech therapist so that we can keep your voice healthy and supple for the rest of your life